Hello. Uh, welcome to Theory and Application of Aerodynamics for Ground Vehicles. Uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, video component uh, for this uh, topic. And um, we will look at the various topics on the subject. Uh, in this, in this uh, session today, uh, we will talk about a little portion of the introduction, which is drag. Um, what is drag? Well, we've heard the expression, somebody said drag. Uh, it's, uh, it, drag generally takes the form of an inhibition to progress or uh, a delay or an obstacle or friction. Uh, Drag is not all that bad, uh, depending on where it's applied. Thanks to drag, we're not all slipping and falling whenever we're walking, because if there was no drag, uh, if there was no friction, which is drag, we would not be able to work to walk smoothly uh, without without falling uh, as we go in the street. So drag has its benefits. Unfortunately, in this uh, in this uh, presentation. Uh, for ground vehicle aerodynamics, we will not be extolling the virtues of drag. Uh, of drag, we will actually be addressing uh, uh, how to minimize it, ideally how to reduce it, eliminate it, which is not going to happen. So we'll seek how to minimize it. Um, let's look at a few quick things. Uh, so you're driving. Here you are driving, uh, and going this way, of course, and the wind is coming straight at you. And even if the wind is not coming at you, the wind is, uh, let's even say you have a still wind. Either you have a still wind or you have the wind coming at you, as you've shown. It's either way the same thing. So you're going this way, the wind is coming this way. There's some kind of friction occurring between the body of the vehicle, this body of the vehicle, and, uh, and uh, you, the uh, the driver, and so with the, the these various lines indicate the drag. Actually, sometimes, especially when it rains, and when the rain is not very heavy, when you just come out of the car, you will see streaks like this on the car. They they are called streamlines. They're not necessarily streamlines, but they're they're good enough for public uh, indication. They are called streamlines. Uh, they are the marks that have been made on the vehicle uh, as a result of the friction between the vehicle going this way and the air uh, that it's, it, it's marching against going the other way. And the more of this drag that we have, the more uh, the, uh, let's, let's clean this off before we talk further about it. The more of this drag that we have, the more the fuel consumption. So drag increases fuel consumption, uh, and uh, drag therefore can be an expensive uh, thing. So if we can reduce it, that would uh, enhance the performance and the marketability of the vehicle. That, uh, that's one aspect. Of course, uh, we look at safety also when we talk about stability and performance of ground vehicles. Uh, we will address safety, but drag is certainly a major concern. Uh, it's arguable. Some would actually almost say that the need to study aerodynamics of uh, ground vehicles is to eliminate drag. Well, maybe that's not the entire reason, but it carries a very heavy uh, percentage of the reason to study ground vehicle aerodynamics. So uh, let us uh, look at another form. Who's this guy? <laughs> what happens here is uh, I'm trying to demonstrate the uh, the practical, the everyday application of drag. This is called an agbada. It's a big flowing gown. It should look like uh, you know, some kind of bird for a while. But look look at it the way it's spread. It's actually representative of what you will call a blunt face. It's spread in front of this vehicle, and consider the wind blowing, facing this guy. So the wind will be blowing all along like that past here. The wind will be blowing, uh, not up, but you know, into, into this surface. 
so wind will, the wind will be blowing. And but for this area, the wind will hit this guy right here, hit this guy right here. And if the shape has been such that he he sweeps back a little bit, then the wind would go all along like that and all along like that. Now. The narrower this spread, the less is going to be the opposition. In fact, this, this person would feel uh, less force if he were to sweep back his, his hands than if he were to spread them forward. Uh, so what he feels, that direct force against him, is an obstacle to motion. And it's, it's drag. It's a form of drag. In addition, the one that sweeps by his side as he, he, uh, uh, along the edges, those are drag. That's an example of uh, everyday occurrence of drag. We, uh, in a strong wind, we almost may not be able to move forward because of the strength of the wind that blows uh, the person as they try to move forward. That is drag. These are the concepts of drag. So drag as an everyday concept. It's got a concept on a bicycle rider, on a car, on truck, on various aspects. It's a very important concept. And uh, it's worth looking at, especially in this day and age with the cost of gas, the benefit that it has with, uh, uh, for ground vehicle aerodynamics. Um, we would uh, look at various uh, aspects. Again, this is one of several lectures. There's, uh, there's three lectures on this. This is just one aspect. And in this particular one, let's, let's take another quick look at the concept of drag. This is a vehicle moving forward. The, the, this is a thrust. thrust. The thrust is obtained from the engine, the gasoline that's put, that's put in the engine to provide combustion and thrust the vehicle forward. So the, the thrust is there. Now, opposite to the thrust, we have the drag. That, that which always opposes motion, it's just like friction, drag. But in this case, we're looking strictly at the aerodynamic drag, the drag due to the presence of the air as the vehicle goes forward. So this is the drag. The reason I'm showing these two, these two is to uh, give a comparison between two different designs so we can have an appreciation for the importance of drag. We'll be talking about streamline uh, later on and airfoil, which are features for improved uh, uh, aerodynamics of, of a vehicle. But just looking at these two vehicles, uh, this, is, this, this is streamlined. Compared with this one, this we would call kind of blunt. Uh, in the front and essentially in the design, it's more like a box, box-like. It's box-like, and uh, this would be kind of, uh, we will say, is airfoil-like. We're creating new words, airfoil-like. <laughs> but uh, the, so certainly, if we're looking at aerodynamics, at least just strictly aerodynamics, this is a better vehicle than this one because drag is a lot reduced in, in this one, and uh, that's when you compare with this one. So it, it things like this that we look at to see how the, the performance of the vehicle is improved and how the uh, profiling, how the, uh, the design of, of the vehicle is, uh, is come up with to have uh, a vehicle that is economical and, and uh, of improved performance too, in this case, from, uh, strictly from aerodynamic perspective. So if for these two vehicles, this and this, we apply the same thrust. Let's apply the same thrust T for both vehicles. If we apply the same thrust, that's the same engine thrust for them, for example, the drag that this would experience is much higher than drag that this experiences is much higher than that which this experiences. So drag is higher here than it is here. And that's what I will try to represent with just these little non to scale marks. The drag here is just this much, whereas the drag here is this much for the same thrust for both vehicles. So this is uh, an indication, this is an example of the things that we will look at, the benefits of uh, uh, studying ground vehicle aerodynamics, uh, which certainly 
uh, include to a very large extent the reduction of, uh, of the drag to improve uh, the, the uh, efficiency of the vehicle, the fuel economy, and a number of benefits. Uh, this is true for cars, for trucks, for motorcycles, for, for all vehicles, not just, not just ground vehicles, but in this, in this uh, course, we will be focusing primarily on ground vehicles. Uh, this is essentially an introduction to the material, and in subsequent lectures, we'll talk more about this. Uh, we'll see you then.